Well, while I'm on this topic, earlier, uh, this was probably around, I don't know, 1 o'clock p.m., 2 o'clock p.m., I'm not sure. But anyways, this afternoon today, earlier today, uh, it was past 12 noon. But uh, uh, this uh, took place at uh, so they know uh, at the Seven Eleven on um, uh, This took place at uh at uh what was it uh oh seven eleven on uh Figueroa and uh uh Figueroa and uh Century <coughs> So People called the police because of a disturbance, right? So the police come in there, not just scooping in there. They came in there with their sirens on, right? So they're going out the sirens on. A black lady talked about how this girl, this Hispanic girl, tried to assault her, and she stole her bags and some other stuff, uh, calling her all type of names and all this crap. So, uh, police get there. They let the girl, like, you can clearly see the girl who was guilty. She looked guilty. She's trying to sneak away, trying to slip away from the police. The police just sit there and watch her. Then they start to approach the black girl as, who was the victim almost as if she was the, like, perpetrator. She started to explain to them that that girl did what she did. The police acted like, who, 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 who did it? Who was it? So she tells them, like, oh, there she go right there. Now, the police don't let this girl get two blocks down. Okay? So you can see that the black girl trying to finish telling them her side of the story, what happened. The police just kind of, like, blew like, just brush her off. Now, they hop back in their truck and they put their sirens on to go after the girl. Now, this girl was trying to ask people. She's offering blowjobs to people, oral sets, if they give her a ride to get her out of the area because the police is coming. Because somebody lied on her. So, they see this. And they see her trying to get into people's cars. One guy got ready to say yes. Saw the police last minute about to turn the corner. It was down there by like that little boulevard thingy. Uh, I want to say that might be Cogden Street. Not sure. But uh, he gets scared. He takes off. He goes one block up, bend the corner. Now, the police act like they couldn't find that girl. They was... 30 feet away from that girl. Act like they couldn't see her. They looked around, see that the black girl was still at 7-Eleven. She can't see. She didn't come walking down there to see if they got her or whatever. So they don't even go back to the 7-Eleven like, hey, she got away or we didn't see her. They just, they go, they keep on going. They get caught at the light right at Figueroa and Century. A second police officer came in to 7-Eleven. He seen that truck. They basically told him we already took care of it. We cool, we cool, we green, you know? So they like, okay. They leave. So you've seen a lot of this out here, injustice. 
There's no just for black folk. But I don't want to make this about black people because my main thing is the police are out here picking and choosing what crimes they want to, you know, and it's like they want to go after. If it's black on brown and the brown person is the victim, they're going to go after that. If it's reverse, they're not going after that. If it's a homeless person, they're going after that homeless person. When it's a pimp committing aggravated assault, when it's a pimp committing robbery, strong arm, when it's a pimp trying to do an adoption, they don't want to say nothing. 